Hello friends, today we are going to study about trigonometric identities. First I am going to derive the identities, how these identities are derived. Look here, if I am having a right angle triangle, A, B and C. We know it is forming a Pythagoras. Uh, so it is a right angle triangle. We can say that AC square equals to AB square plus BC square. Or you can say AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square. Dividing all the terms. Dividing all the terms by terms by s is what we will get we will get this only so i am writing first a b square plus b c square is equal to s square and then dividing all the terms by s square s square plus, sorry upon s square upon s square so this will be a b upon a c whole square plus BC upon AC whole square equals to AC by AC whole square. So now we know if I am taking angle A, so AB will be adjacent and AC will be hypotenuse. So we are having adjacent by hypotenuse. So adjacent by hypotenuse gives you cos square A. Now you are having BC by AC means BC means opposite of angle A and hypotenuse. So opposite by hypotenuse gives you sine square A equals to AC by AC. So one square. So one square will be one. So this is our first identity. Similarly, we can prove the second one. Here we had divide all by AC square. Now I am going to divide this by a b square look here i am improving it a b square plus b c square is equal to a c square they had given us this by pythagoras now we are dividing all the terms by a b square a b square and a b square so again we have to see this will become a b by a, a b by a b so cancelled one square one square will be one plus b c by a b so here you we can see b c by a b so opposite by adjacent gives you 10 square a equals to and a c by b c so a c will be hypotenuse a b will be adjacent hypotenuse by adjacent gives you sec square this is our second similarly we can prove the third one also and doing it here so you can you can see it easily now we again I am writing that a b square plus b c square is equal to a c square now I had one time divided by a c one time divided by a b now remaining is b c so now I am dividing all this by b c square So here BC by BC, so I will get 1. AB square by BC square. Look here. AB square by BC square. So it is cot. So cot square A plus 1 gives you AC square. So hypotenuse by BC opposite. So it will give you cos x. This way we can derive the three main identities. Now from these three, we can form total nine equations. Look here, these are the three equations which we had formed. Now from these three equations, we can form nine equations. Just we have to in interchange the terms from left hand side to right hand side. And then we will get nine simple equations. Look here, I am one by one. Here cos square a plus sin square a is equal to 1. So what we will do, one time we will take cos square on other side, one time we will take 
sin square on other side so it will become cos square a is equal to 1 minus sin square a or you can say sin square a equals to 1 minus cos square a. so this 3 then again from here also we we are going to interchange first we will take 1 on that side then 10 on that side so 1 is equal to sec square a minus 10 square a and one time we will take 1 on that side so 10 square a is equal to sec square a minus 1. here also now third so we got 3 here 3 here and here also we will do the same thing one time we will take 1 on that side one time we will take cot square on that side so here cot square a is equal to cos x square a minus 1 and 1 is equal to cos x square a minus cot so these are the 3 or you can say 9 equations that we had formed so this way we can form all the nine identities or you can say equations thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel so that i can bring more such videos for you thank you